0.54. So then what will that be? The millimeter will cancel the millimeter squared. And I could say uh, 1,000 millimeters is one uh, meter. So then I kept it as a millimeter squared and a millimeter for the area and the distance. And now I can just say, oh, okay, now convert the millimeter. 1,000 millimeters, one meter. Okay, so then that's going to be what? Um, actually, that's just powers of 10 after that. 8.854 times 10 times that is going to be 10 to the 11th, right? Divided by 1,000 is going to be what? Um, 10 to the minus 14, 8.854 times 10 to the minus 14. So in terms of a picofarad, what would that be? Um, oh, that's pretty small. So it'd be one, two, yeah, 0 0.08854 picofarad. Was that sold? What was the one that we saw was selling? Uh, yeah, I think I think the one we saw was selling 0 0.027 picofarad, right? We saw it was like, uh, was it $60 for 20 of them? Something like that, $3 each. Yeah, so th this, this would be a good expensive, uh, kind of a expensive uh, capacitor. 0.08854 picofarad. Okay, but then what would happen if I were to change this same capacitor and put, let's say, the dielectric. So I'm going to color the dielectric like this. So then here is the dielectric. Then put another plate. The dielectric. So you see what I'm doing? Um, I'm taking the, imagine this is the same, um, the same thickness here, one millimeter. And then I'm just embedding in there a small sheet of aluminum or whatever material you're using for the plates. And instead of inserting one dielectric that has a thickness of a millimeter, I'm inserting two dielectrics, each having a thickness of a, of a half a millimeter. You see what, so have I constructed essentially, have I constructed two capacitors now in series? So in other words, the idea is by inserting one plate in between, have you essentially broken it up into two capacitors? Um, I believe so, yeah, right? This is gonna be, it's gonna look like this. Positive, 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 positive. This is negative. So if we just view what's happening to the middle plate, right? So if you've got a positive, this plate positive, this plate negative, what's going to happen to this plate? This positive plate is going to induce a negative charge on the top of this plate, right? So in other words, as long as this is a conducting material, this, this plate that you've inserted there, and then the, uh, that positive there will induce a negative here, and then this negative will induce a positive on the bottom side of that plate. Aha! This is really deep understanding, guys. 
So it has the equivalent effect of having two separate capacitors in series. So it, it looks like to you, it's like cheating. It's almost like saying, I'm putting one metal in there and it's like, it's almost like taking two capacitors and putting two separate capacitors. You see what I'm doing? So in other words, to have two separate capacitors in series, I would need four plates. One, two, three, four. You see? But that's a waste of space. You're wasting space that way. Why don't you just insert one? And plus, you're wasting uh, metals. Do you see? Do you guys get that? Daniel, are, are you with me? Somebody give me a sign of life here. <laughs> Voice. A heartbeat. Something. Yeah, looks good. Super. Yeah, but do you guys get the awe of that, the wonderment of the technique of, you see? So instead of saying, put plate and plate, plate and plate, plate and plate, make it in series, what they're doing in the video is just inserting the plate in there. And then these two plates are inducing a negative and positive. And now they just put a dielectric there, dielectric there. And it's like what they've done is just saying, oh, I've basically made positive, negative, and positive, negative. You see? So you really don't need, you might think, well, what's this line represent? You see? Well, that line is, you don't really need that because this one plate actually is acting as the negative and the positive. So you see, in this picture, it's kind of deceiving. This picture, I don't know why, because I, I'm somehow getting excited about this today. <laughs> in this picture, that's literally if you have two capacitors in series, you have a positive, negative, then you connect it with a wire into another capacitor with a positive, negative. This is a different way of achieving the same thing. There's no wire needed. You literally just put a plate and then this is positive, negative, and the same capacitor plays a double role, the same, the same metal. This metal is playing this metal's role. You see? Uh, so let's just say the top of this metal is playing this metal's role and the bottom of this metal is playing this metal's role and without the need of a wire because it itself is has the wire in there uh, you see so it's almost like the metal is acting like the role of this this whole space you see and then you have a dielectric there and a dielectric there wow that's amazing so that that one plate has uh, different or opposite charges on either side of it yeah yeah on the top of the of the top of this plate you will already have a negative charge and that will act like the bottom of that capacitor and the bottom of that plate you will induce a positive and that will act like the top of that plate <laughs> you see and now i can keep multiplying I can put another plate, I can put another plate, another plate, another plate. So am I going to increase the capacitance? Oh, yeah, I believe so. Let's just calculate it for just placing one plate. What's going to be the new capacitance of that? So by placing one plate... Okay, so then let's calculate just the capacitance of one of them that you have, C1, KAE0 over D. Well, it's going to be similar to this, except now the D you have, have, you have half the D, right? Mm. So it should be what... Uh, Let's see here, 10. So it's a half the D. Yeah, 
yeah, if half the T, let's see, half the D, so that's going to be uh, double this, double this capacitance. So I guess my question that I'm trying to answer is, just by virtue of placing that plate, have you now created a net capacitance that is better than just making this one whole thing and then rolling it up, you see? Rolling it up and selling it like that. Uh, let's see here. So you basically made a capacitor that's twice that, 0 0.08854 by four times two, point one seven seven oh eight picofarad. Okay, but then you made, uh, now you have two of those in series, so how do they add up in series? See, it would have been nice if they were in parallel, right? Um, yeah, if they're not in parallel, they're in series. Parallel would be if they share the same voltage, but here their voltages add up to give you the voltage of the batteries. So it's actually series. So they add up like this. Well, if they're the same, 1 over 0.17708, plus one over 0 0.17708, what happens? You get back to two over 0 0.17708. C total is equal to 0 0.17708 over two. So it goes back to 0 0.08854. Uh, sorry. It didn't help. By putting a plate there, yeah, you made two capacitors. You had the effect of having two capacitors, but then the capacitors are in series, so their net capacitance is like having one capacitor by, with a dielectric. So why make all those plates uh, in between? Is it the uh, thickness of the plate? Ah, <laughs> you had a little eureka moment there. So the letter, the this one is not going to be completely dimensionless, right? It's going to take up some space. So this whole thing is one millimeter. Let's say no matter how thin this is, it's going to take up some space. So let's say even if it's 0 0.1 millimeter, the dimension of that plate, right? So what is now gonna happen? What's the distance here and the distance there? So then to calculate the new capacitance C1, what do I do? I can't just take this and uh, double it, right? I would have to kind of go back here and say, what if this thickness was, what would the thickness of this be? If this was 0 0.1 millimeter, uh, subtract one minus 0 0.1, you get 0.9, right? So I'm assuming from the bottom edge of this to the top edge of that is one millimeter from the bottom edge to the top edge. And then this whole thing is one, 0.1 millimeters. So then from the, uh, from here to here is one millimeter. So it's like, let's get like this. So this is one millimeter. And then you put something here that has a thickness of 0.1 millimeter. So then what's going to be the thickness of this guy? Well, I believe it should be one minus 0.1 over two, right? So that'd be point, it'd be point nine, point four five millimeter. And then this would be point four five millimeters, right? Yeah. So then we would go back here and put point four five, right? And uh, then what would happen? 
then the capacitance would go up a little bit more than two, right? So how would we calculate that? Uh, 0 0.08854, right? So basically I would divide it by 0.45. Yeah, this would go up a little bit more than twice. So instead of the new capacitance being 0.177, you see, if, if this was completely so thin, the metal, yeah, then it's 0.177. This one doubles, do you see? So it's a small little technicality. Because the plate you're putting there has a thickness, uh, so now instead of uh, 0 0.177, it's 0 0.19, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, or repeating fives. Now if I put 12 of those in series, what's gonna happen? Well, the same effect, if you have two in series that are the same, the net capacitance becomes half of that, you see. So that's why in this case, it didn't really help because I doubled the capacitance and then I halved it and then I went back to the normal. But now, two of these the in series, what's gonna be the total? Mm-mm. So just divide this by two. Point oh nine eight four picofarads. Oh, you see. So you could create a point oh eight eight five four picofarad by putting one sheet. You have made point oh nine eight four picofarad. You see? Now, how about putting two sheets? Okay, now can we now streamline this? Would there be a general way to say, okay, what if we have put 10 sheets? Each one having the thickness of, well, actually this one, I can't put 10 sheets, right? Uh, because that would be, 10 would be already, it would fill it all up. Uh, so I would, let's just say five sheets. Five sheets of aluminum. What's the new capacitance? So this is a good test type question, huh? Really gets you to think. Five sheets of aluminum. So you have this, you have this. Try to visualize each one as a thickness of Point one, 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 right? And then the whole thing is one millimeter. And then of course you're inserting a dielectric in each one. What's gonna be the total new capacitance of it? By putting five sheets, how many uh, capacitors are you making? Uh, See, by putting one sheet, you've made two capacitors. By putting two sheets, you've made how many? Um, so is it just basically one more than the sheets you're putting? Let's see here. One sheet, two sheets. So yeah, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Yeah, basically, if you put two sheets, you're basically making C1, C2, C3. So literally it depends on how many sheets you put. You're just making one more than the sheets that you've put. Okay, so how would we solve this? Give me an approach, how can I do it? Uh, it shouldn't take that long, actually, once you get the idea. What would be the distance between each one if I put five sheets? We can end with this today. So can't we say point 0.1 uh, 
uh, no, it was one millimeter minus uh, each one was 0.1, right? So one minus uh, 0.5, right? So one minus 0.5. Because basically what you're saying is the distance between the plates is one. The sheets take up this much space, right? Uh, so then that's going to be 0.5, right? And then divide that by what? How many capacitors do you have? Um, six capacitors, right? Um, yeah, six capacitors. So essentially, take the what we did for putting one sheet, generalize it to putting five sheets. We took one sheet, we subtracted one minus 0.1, we got 0.9. Then we took the 0.9 and divided it into two capacitors, and that's 0.45. Then we took that and we went to the here and we just calculated the, the capacitance uh, with the new distance, you know. So now we're gonna take one minus 0.5, right? That leaves us 0.5 millimeters. Divide that among the six capacitors that we have made. What is that? Five divided by six. 0 0.08333 millimeters. Then divide my value of each capacitor, uh, the 0 0.085854. So essentially I'm taking this value. This would have been the capacitance if the distance between them was one millimeter, right? But now the distance is different. So I have to divide this by the new distance. So then it be 0 0.08854 over this 0 0.08333, okay? So it'd be 0 0.08854 divided by 0 0.08333. Well, now we, you've made each capacitor one uh, picofarad, okay? So you have C1 is equal to 1.0625 picofarad. So each value of the capacitor will be 1.06 picofarads, but now you've got six of them in series. So then you take this and divide by six, you see? because it's one over C1 plus one over C2 plus one over C3 like that. Divide that by six, hmm, 0.177. C total is 0.177 picofarads. Oh, that's much bigger than the 0.08. You see, by placing five sheets in there, it about doubles. The capacitance doubles to about 17. Uh, yeah, that's about double. Cool. So you can make a variety of them. So now you can kind of see the value of them placing a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of them like that in a series, putting sheets in between, and then rolling that up with a big area. And then you can make any kind of capacitor that way. Okay, guys, uh, we'll 